Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. In yesterday, I have shown how to prepare elevation, aspect, curvature, plan curvature, profile curvature, and slope from Olus Pulsar Dream. Today, I will prepare annual FIS rainfall map for landslide susceptibility mapping. So, go to Google and type here IMD gridded data. IMD gridded data is free data for India. And for the rest of the world, I will make another tutorial. Here the imdpune.gov.in free download yearly gridded data. Click here. There are two types of data are freely available. One binary file and another gridded rainfall 0 0.25 into 0 0.25 net CTF file. So select the year 2020. Here the download option then click download. Already download started. It will take I think one minute. And then open your ArcMap. Using this technique, you can convert NetCDF file to raster file. You can extract data from NetCDF file. Here, this is my data .nc. That's my NetCDF file. So here the Arc toolbox. Open your Arc toolbox. Then in the Arc toolbox, you can find multi-dimensional tool. Click here. Here the Make NetCDF raster layer. Click this. Then this windows will be open input net city file click here and go to head the download section and click this and open it okay now now see here variable rainfall x that's when longitude y latitude output raster layer rainfall layer and band dimension this optional but band dimension that's when time so select time now everything is okay just press the okay button it is processing see here all india rainfall data you can find 366 bands because this is a daily rainfall data now add your shape file your study area map here my shape file darjeeling shape add it now zoom to layer this is my shape file now extract this map this rainfall layer select here and go to the data section and export data so i want to export now this area so extend as data frame select this one here the darjeeling create a new folder rainfall Then for select it and add it and save it. Would you like to add exported data to the map as layer? Yes, I want. So, no need this one also. Yes, see, zoom to layer. This are layer. Now composite this band. Here you know 366 band for 2020 because this is leap year. So you can open the arc toolbox. Here the data management tool. In the data management tool, you can find the star. Here the star and then raster processing. Click here and click composite band. Now input raster or rainfall layer. Click here and here the rainfall. Double click here and select band 1. Press the shift button and select last band and add it. Okay, output raster, change the output path, rainfall, rainfall composite. Okay, and save it and click OK. Again, it will take some time to composite all the 366 band. Now, this is our composite band now. And so here, you should represent it. This is a geographic position system. And you can find here,
all the band and position special reference linear unit that's when this is a geographic position system we should convert it into positive coordinate system right click here go to data frame properties select your utm zone according to your study area okay and again export this data now select data frame current in special references composite projected Save it. Okay. Say yes. Now this is our posited data. Now go to the special analysis tool. In the special analysis tool, you can find local option, local tool, and have the cell statistics. Click here. Using this cell statistics, I will calculate annual rainfall from daily rainfall. So here the rainfall composite project. That's when this one change output data projected rainfall 2020. Save it and overlay statistics that's when in case of rainfall it should be some you can do mean maturity median range hd but annual rainfall mean sum of 365 days now click ok so here annual rainfall rainfall 2020 start from 1418 to 6657 so now Go to the conversation tool here, click the from raster, this tab, and click the raster to point. Now, rainfall input raster, that's when this one, drag it here, and field obviously value and change the path. So, annual rainfall 2020 and save it. This is a point data, so this is a shape file and click OK. Now see this our point data of annual rainfall. Similar to the station rainfall data. Here the grid code annual rainfall in mm. Now add your shape file. Here the Darjeeling shape file. And one important thing, if you're working with multi addition mocking model or any type of machine learning model, your all the parameter should be the same spatial resolution. So check the spatial resolution of the other parameter. If you take 20 parameters, your all the parameters must be same spatial resolution. I'm using always false them, so my spatial resolution of the other parameter 12.5 so I need to convert it all the parameter as 12.5 or check it here anyone here the slope click here and go to the properties now see cell size 12.5 into 12.5 so we should convert it into 12.5 again go to the special analysis tool and here the interpolation technique you can find various interpolation techniques like idw kicking spline and various types of special uh, interpolation technique are available you can choose either idw or kicking for rainfall mapping so our input point features that's when our created point annual rainfall 2020 z value that's when git code select git code and output raster you can change the output raster path you can also change in the letter and output cell size it should be 12.5 according to your other raster file and environment posting extend same as Darjeeling and your raster analysis raster mask as Darjeeling so Click OK and OK. It will take some time.
Now, see here. Make it hollow. This is our rainfall map of our study area. Zoom to layer. Here the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 classes. You can change it. Just export this data. Here the data section. Go to export. And your data frame. That's when data frame current. Cell size should be 12.5, 12.5. This is a path. So click here and select the path parameter and add it. Name it as annual rainfall, rainfall 2020 and save it. Would you like to add the exported data to the map as layer? Yes. So this is our annual rainfall map of our study area. Go to here, you can change the symbology as stage to classify it. We'll do it in the later stage. Okay, up to here. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I will be back very soon.